Hey guys, uh, here's this uh, 1980 uh, G20 van that belongs to Tim Dixon. Man, we have done a lot of work to this thing. Tim's thrown a lot of money at it. But, uh, you know, sometimes you drag one of these old cars or trucks or vans in this case out of an old shed or barn or something. Uh, I don't know, you kinda, uh, I don't know exactly what it is. I don't know if it's some sort of an attachment or uh, just, uh, you know you just want to see if you can get it back on the road anyway uh that's where we're at with this one but this old van's real solid it's going to make a nice one of course you can see we put rallies on it tim's got some turbine wheels uh he's been trying to put tires on that were on the van uh, so he's got tires for those and so it'll have the turbine wheels back on it uh i suspect some side pipes uh if tim's got any laying around uh but who knows the exhaust on it sounds pretty good uh this motor came out of a uh c10 truck i think i mentioned that in the last video i believe they've done an ls swap on the truck but uh anyway it's ready to go um i'm fixing to drive it it's been a whole lot of years since this van's been on the road uh see the motor again we uh blew this motor apart we changed all the gaskets and seals painted everything uh you can see them old auto zone spark plug wires they sort of suck they're hard to you know it's hard to make them look real good but uh seems to run real good i uh, had one valve taken we adjusted that and uh got the tick out of it but it don't sound bad like i said this fan's been setting a long time i don't know exactly how long but just judging by how hard everything was to come apart uh, the fact that all the front assembly, uh, the pulleys and stuff were rotted. This fan's been setting a long time. I'd say somewhere between 20, maybe even 30 years. It's been setting a long time. Uh, I would say at least 20. But uh, I don't know where the fan shroud is. If there wasn't one on it when I got it. But uh, anyway, it's all there. It's running good. Uh, I'm pleased with it. I don't know if there's any way I can pause on this GoPro or not. I'm trying to see what it'll let me do here. I don't think it's going to let me do it, but I can, uh, I believe I can tie these videos together some way or another. So let's take this dude down the road and see how it does. I'll catch this here in just a minute. Right, guys i drove it down the road uh, typically i would let you do a ride along and i was going to actually do that and then i remembered i had several people that uh kind of messaged me and uh, was telling me how they could find me and this that and the other um most of them were probably just being cool and kind of forewarning me because uh, people do get a little odd some people want to just pull up in your driveway and talk to you and uh, while that's flattering um you know sometimes you're not really uh ready for company or maybe you're not home you know uh so anyway all that aside the van done great it drives down the road really good uh especially for something that's been setting as long as this van my god it has set a long time like i said earlier i don't know how long uh i'd say at least 20 years somewhere you know maybe 15 20 years i don't really know uh i don't really know the backstory on the van i know the guy that had it passed away and uh i think they were going to junk it and uh tim bought it so uh tim's throwed a lot of money at this thing and uh it's cool though it's really cool it's a cool old van i like it um again the motor's running really good i'm trying to be easy on the transmission because this transmission has set a long time and uh, you don't want to get out here and just rip the damn guts out of one that's been setting as long as this one so trying to be easy on the transmission give it a chance to kind of get fluid back between those clutches uh, but it's running good guys it's really running good i'm i'm tickled with it um you know of course some things could have gone a little easier or a little bit better but that's okay uh, again like i said we uh it's kind of another rundown on what we've done everything as far as the brakes is brand new 
everything besides the metal lines everything's new the booster the master cylinder uh the front calipers rotors wheel bearings uh, of course the pads uh rear shoes wheel cylinders hardware kit all the rubber hoses are new uh new front seal and a transmission we went ahead and dropped the pan cleaned all that out put good fluid in it um of course the pan ended up having a hole so i had to pull the pan back off uh as forrest gump says it happens so anyway uh, a lot of that happens on these old cars when you start fooling with one that has been setting as long as this one but i'm um, gonna we'll try to start it it's been sitting here a little while timing just a little bit high there uh, maybe just a tad pulled that back some that's why i don't put the doghouse on one uh, just because it's really aggravating to get that off and put it back on um but anyway uh soon as i've got everything buttoned down i know that timing's correct uh, i don't believe there's a timing tab on this motor it's got just a chrome uh, timing chain cover so a lot of people don't put them back on them with those uh, uh chrome covers I, I wasn't really thinking or i would have threw one on there for him but that's okay i can get it close uh you know just by ear don't exactly have to have a light now right here i'm glad i done that um this battery tray is pretty bad shape and that's the hot and that thing had slid right into that so i'm really glad that i've done what i've done there uh, that's just a piece of heater hose i stuck on there until tim can get him a battery tray to hold that battery still but uh anyway it's working out but all right guys uh, i'm going to clean this thing up and hopefully get the dog house on it and it'll be ready to go we'll catch you in a few hey guys uh hopefully this is my last video of this van i've done several videos uh i just haven't had a time to uh, had a time had a chance to post them yet i haven't had time um uh, so anyway here's the van um from the papers that i'm finding in the van there's some new parts laying in the seat and the receipts that are with those parts are from 1992 i would say that's probably pretty close uh, which would put it right around that 30 year mark kind of like i was thinking uh again it's not hard when you start looking at uh, like i said the brake hoses uh the front assembly the belts uh stuff like that when you've tore enough of these things down uh that have been setting and that you know the backstory on you can kind of make a pretty good guess as to how long something has been setting so uh anyway like i said in the last videos we went through everything with the brakes i've dropped the fuel tank made sure it was good checked the sending unit it was good um i think tim probably got lucky maybe this thing got parked out of gas you know maybe it was out of gas when it got parked or very low and maybe that gas evaporated out i don't know but the tank looked brand new on the inside uh tore the motor apart resealed it painted it cleaned it up new radiator all new hoses belts anything you can think of we done it uh but van hasn't really made a very long trip and uh like i said probably knocking on 30 years just guessing just guessing old van had 3,131 miles in 1988 uh now that could have been 103 i guess very possible let's see what it's showing now showing 52 so i don't know it's hard to say so 1988 to 92 that's four years uh that would probably fit i mean that's around 40,000, uh well almost 50,000 miles and if you average usually people drive about 12,000 miles a year of course i don't know the story on this van they might have traveled in it or anything else but i would say the van was parked in 92 or 93 but uh, it's running good um it does what it's supposed to do now there's still a lot of work to be done it's not done by far like i said it still needs a lot uh got a little rattle in the exhaust of course it's old exhaust it's part of it i did clean the windshield so i could sort of see the drive but anyway guys i'm gonna get this thing to tim and uh, get it dropped off and i hope it, i hope it does him good we'll catch you on the next one and like i said hopefully i'll try to upload these other videos of this van a little later on see you later